Let's have a look now at copying catalog and location values. First thing we do, we've got our drawing here. Let's make sure that it's added to the project drawing list. So we'll add the active drawing. Yes to applying the project default values. Now we will need to change the properties there because we've got two sheet numbers the same. So right click on the drawing, properties, drawing properties, and change that to 002 just to make sure that our numbering is sequential and adheres to the structure of the project drawing list. I have mentioned in previous videos in this particular course that all components need to be catalogued if you're going to place them on the bill of materials for your AutoCAD electrical project. Now you'll notice these ones here have location data, SSEX. So the single phase motor there, SSEX, and the latch relay coil there, SSEX. So you'll notice they've got location values, but how do you tell if they've actually got catalog information? Well, you can go and edit the component, but what you can also do, if you go to the edit component panel on the schematic tab here and click on the down arrow, you can copy the catalog assignment from one component to another. So I'll select my motor here. Now I've got snap and grid on to make component placement easier. So I'll switch that off now. Just makes it less jerky, as you can see. I'll select the single phase motor. Tells me the manufacturer, the catalog. I can do the assembly number, catalog lookup there. I can look it up. And there it is in the catalog lookup. If I want to select something, I'll just cancel that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to OK it. And it prompts me now to select the object that I want to place it to. Can you see that on the command line there? Pick target components. If I have dynamic on, it tells me to select the object. So if I've got dynamic input on, I get a prompt near the pick box. Other than that, look on your command line. So if I select that single phase motor there and then press enter, what it's done is it's updated it. Can you see, look, it's got an attribute now. Can you see that 2HP? I do need to move that attribute. So I'll click there, right click, attribute, move attribute. I'll click on it, right click to confirm, pick a base point and just drag that up to there just so it's neater like that and press enter to finish. So I've now updated that particular motor to the same catalog information as that motor there. Let's do the same with the latched relay coil. So if I go back over here to copy catalog assignment, I select the latched relay coil like that. It tells me the manufacturer, the catalog. So I'll OK that. I'll now select the target component, which is this one here. Click there. Press enter to finish and that updates. How can I check that? If I just click on it, right click, edit component, there's the catalog data there. So I'll OK that. Be very, very careful when you're doing catalog assignment. The reason being it can only work with components and they have to be similar components. So like we did here, motor to motor, latched relay coil to latched relay coil. That's the only way you can do the copy catalog assignment. Now you can, however, copy location values generically. It doesn't matter because obviously it's non-component specific. If I now go to the edit components panel and click on the fly out here and pin it open, let's have a look at the edit components and see where that copy installation location code values is. It's that icon right there. So I can click on that icon and I can now pick a master location component. If I pick master and just pick that motor there, we can see that the installation and location values are there. So if I click there like that, installation, location, it's all in place. So what I can do now is click on OK, and I can select one, two, and three to update. Now that one already had location values, but I might want them to change. So if I press enter now, you'll see that they all update like so. Now you'll notice here, can you see that they haven't updated the installation values? So if I go back there again, pick a master this time, and I'll pick a master on the relay coil instead, notice the installation wasn't ticked. So if I go back to OK now, and just update these two here, and then enter, it'll update. So make sure that you've got both boxes ticked for both installation and location if you want to update them like we've just done there. 